Hey, this is Matt, and today we're going to look at four new features of the Backtester. So to get to the Backtester, go to wheel.orats.com, get to the home page, hit Backtest, and let's uh, hit New Backtest. Um, so you can click on Adding New Parameters here. We have Symbol Strategy, Date Range, Days to Expiration, and Delta for you already. Some people might like percent out of the money. So let's go and let's open um, IV rank first. And as you can see, uh, there's a definition here, basically where the volatility lies now compared to the range of the one year is what IV rank is. Um, and I'd like to show you something kind of interesting. So for SPY, this is something we've talked about on my podcast at Option Insider. Let's, uh, let's, let's look at selling a, uh, a strangle, for example. Um, first of all, we'll just run it without IV rank um, and see how that looks. And then we'll compare how the IV looks. So that's, while that's processing, let's, let's run uh, a SPY short strangle uh, with the IV rank. And again, we'll go in, uh, scroll down and click on IV rank. Now, one of the rules that we've, or rules of thumb that we found in backtesting is when the volatility is low, uh, they don't get it low enough. And when it's high, they don't get it high enough. Uh, so this is might be counterintuitive, but we're, we're not going to sell a strangle when the IV rank is above 80 with that theory in mind. And let's see if that theory works. So the returns are back and selling the strangle with the IV rank uh, with a max of 80. So when it's less than 80, again, a little bit counterintuitive, did perform better. Uh, clicking on the actual statistics, the sharp, uh, the PL per trade, 161. Uh, let's check out the PL per trade on uh, selling them without considering IV rank 99. So uh, that IV rank uh, is important in that case. Okay, so let's look at the second uh, thing I want to show you today, and that's uh, trading around earnings. So let's click on uh, the factors here, and you can control the entry days to earnings and the exit days pre-earnings or the exit days post-earnings. So let's do a uh, IBM long straddle. Uh, and let's look at it uh, with a, uh, a minimum of 10 days where you buy the straddle, a maximum of 14 days. So we'll be sure to account for weekends. And then we're going to exit the day after or post earnings. And let's see how that test does. So that particular strategy did not work well, real well, but as you could see, that this is a, a good way to test some earnings strategies. Uh, the earnings for for uh, the cycle for IBM is Jan, Ape, July, Oc, and so you can see then all the trades that happen in those periods uh, as well. So this is a good way to test your earnings strategies. Okay, let's do um, another test of a strategy. Let's let's put in our own signals. So we're with the uh, back tester, we're able to uh, put in our own uh, signals. So you might have a relative strength or your own type of indicator. So the way this works is we'll go down and select uh, symbol entry and exit. Um, and then it talks about that you need a symbol entry date and an exit date. In, in various formats. So um, let's let's do that. Add that. I have a, uh, a program that I've written that, that does a, a moving average, for example. So I'll copy that uh, symbols in here. We have 58 entries and let's submit that. So that particular strategy, we can then drill down um, again and look at the, the dates in Apple uh, that we wanted to trade uh, starting with 220 to 31 
We go down, uh, the first trade is 220 and exits on 3.1. So basically what's happening there is you're able to control when to get in and when to get out and also set the strategy. So that's a, a powerful new addition to the ORATS backtester. Uh, finally, I want to show the fourth thing is the ability to combine a strategy. So let's combine like a short strangle here with a, a long put in, in SPY. Previously, I ran a long put, but it loses 2.05% per annum on average. So you, in order to kind of finance that long put, you might sell a strangle around there. So let's see how that does combine. So we can combine those two. Let's try combining them in a 50-50 average. And we submit that combination and it will go and combine the daily returns and as you can see it went pretty quickly so this is actually a, a tail hedge of sorts that makes money so but let's see how it performs so if you want it as a tail hedge you know like i said it did perform pretty well in 2008 and pretty well for the for the other years um, if you need more protection than that you what you might do is go back and uh, do the percentages in, in a different weighting. So you would perhaps combine uh, the short straddle at 30% and the uh, long put at 70%. That'll give you uh, higher returns in 2008 and you know, a better protection. And uh, as you might imagine, you could raise the short strangle if you want better uh, returns than that. But let's just take a look and... Uh, and show you that 2008 performance is, is quite a bit better. So uh, th again, we've added uh, the four things that we've added are the IV rank, uh, where uh, we tested the short strangle successfully using an actual counterintuitive uh, use of the IV rank. We have then tested uh, an earnings uh, strategy uh, getting in a certain amount of days before and exiting a certain amount after, and you could vary those and test those. Uh, and then we uh, looked at putting in our own uh, entry and exit dates for a particular uh, uh, symbol, and you can uh, create that based on an infinite number of uh, technical sim sim uh, indicators that you might have. And then we combine two strategies, uh, a very powerful way to look at um, how a short strangle in this case and a long put perform. All right. So thank you very much. Any other questions? I'm Matt at orats.com. Thanks for listening.